Welcome back, everyone, and I'd like to welcome one of the most athletic people that I know. <laughs> we welcome Larry Tuileta to the podcast. Everyone go, calls him Tui, so thanks so much for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's yeah. going to be good. This is going to be a very interesting story, uh, sharing all of your experiences and your journey. So let's start from when you grew up. Okay. Uh, we we're talking a little bit about this off <laughs> off air, but let's talk about your childhood and playing sports and mm -hmm. how. what kinds of sports did you play when you were younger? All right, so... I was a pretty troubled kid when I was younger. Let's just start off with being honest here. So my parents really put me into sports just to keep me out of trouble. Mm -hmm. So I was playing baseball, basketball, volleyball, and football, okay. I think. And then those are the main ones. And then uh, I ended up narrowing it down to football and volleyball eventually. But mm -hmm. my whole family plays volleyball, so that was a given. But mm -hmm. yeah, I ended up playing football and volleyball. And yeah, story of my life. Where do I even begin? <laughs> yeah, let's start in elementary school. So yeah. everyone knows you from the state championship Punahou years, yeah. right? How many state championships did you guys win um, under? For volleyball, I won three, and then okay. football won. One, yeah. yes. So everyone knew you were, you were Gatorade Player of the Year, right? Yeah, I yes. was. <laughs> so, so, you know, everyone in Hawaii knows the name and everything, and then you went on to play at UH. But before we get into all of that, so before Punahou, where did you go to school? Okay, so I ended up going to uh, Wailea Elementary, which is like right down the road right here in Kamaki. Okay. After that, I went to Kamaki Middle School for my sixth grade year. And then I actually went to St. Louis my sixth grade year again. I ended up repeating. And then I went to Punahou my seventh, and then I graduated from there. And yeah, that's Got how it. that happened. Explain a little bit about that transition. And you were telling me off air again, like, you know, and you were big into sports growing up, right? In elementary school and everything. And then you actually had to kind of go to St. Louis yeah. to transition into Punahou. So right. explain that a little bit. Yeah, so I played, you know, football and for Pop I played Pop Warner football. And I guess one year, I don't know, I don't want to say they were recruiting, but I guess, you know, some guys <laughs> came up from St. Louis and they're like, oh, um, you ever thought about playing football or like football seriously? And I was like, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. And then I guess they talked to my parents and whatnot. And then my parents actually convinced me. They're like, oh, you know what? you should try and uh, take this serious. I think you could, you know, be pretty decent. And I was like, you know, why not? Mm -hmm. So I was at Kamaki Middle at the time and they're like, okay, you gotta get your grades up. So, you know, of course I wasn't the, the best student, but uh, yeah, I ended up getting my grades up. I went to St. Louis my sixth grade year. Mm -hmm. I thought I was gonna play football and volleyball over there. And then I was like, you know what? I think my parents, you know, but every year I started to try out for like Punahou, Kamehameha, Yolani, and St. Louis, and I never got in. Mm -hmm. And I guess after that sixth grade year, my grades got up and I ended up getting into those schools. Punahou wasn't really like, you know, my biggest, I wasn't the biggest fan at the time. I was actually like, <laughs> I was stereotypical, like, oh, I don't want to go there, I don't want to go there. But yeah, after that, I guess uh, Punahou really, you know, like the improvements in my grades, I want to say. Okay. And uh, yeah, I ended up going there my seventh grade year and the rest is history. Yes, the rest is history. Is there anything, because you being a Punahou alumni, I can talk about this with you. Right, right, right. right. So, <laughs> like you said, growing up, you had that stereotype that, oh, I don't want to go to Punahou. But how did that change after you mm. actually got into Punahou? I think, I think what really helped me actually was um, my mom was telling me one of her friend's sons went there and he was a a good friend of mine from, we played basketball, I guess when I was younger for like a club team or whatever. Uh, Dave, his name is Davis, mm -hmm. Saipuyo, and he was like my old lineman, my life protector actually <laughs> when I got to high school. But uh, and I was like, so her convincing me that a couple of my friends were going, I was like, you know what? That made the transition a lot easier. And then um, just as I got older, there started to be more, I mean, let's be real, there's a lot more Polynesian kids going there like when I started going. That really helped. And then there's a lot of people from the volleyball world that I knew that was there. That really helped me. Like Rick Toon. <clears throat> Rick Toon was a big help when I was there. Um, I don't know. And I just want to say like the overall um, way that the school handles themselves and takes care of their students is it's really comforting. And the transition just it just makes the transition way easier. Yeah. And just it got better and better every year. The more people I met. I want to say anyone that ends up going to Punahou would love it. I mean, yeah. I was I'm the prime example. Like <laughs> I didn't like it at all before and I didn't haven't even been there. Yes. And I ended up going and I loved it.